Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwan yasa Allah. Koholoyim la Yahweh b'ashmi abashai b'hashem rechacha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashmi abashai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, I'm just waiting to go into the DMV. I got a little appointment, so I wanted to get this lesson in real quick. And basically, going off into something that happened last night. So, uh, you know, I went to the store. And it was just by the spirit. You know, I heard spirit, like, go to this store. Go to this particular store. This this is outside of my neighborhood and everything, too. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, I basically, I done passed up, like, three stores, basically, to go to, to, to this one particular store. So, I get there. And, um, you know, as soon as I walk in, of course, you know, um, you know, I grab what I grab and I'm at the counter and I'm kicking with this older guy, older gentleman, you know, or, you know, I'm not sure what nation of people those people are. I think they're Yemen, um, Yemen from Yemen or whatever. But, you know, they pretty much they came to the hood and bought up every damn thing, you know, and just horrible service. You know, I do. But anyway, so, you know, I'm telling them, yo, uh might want to light an incense or something, you know, some pine salt or something, you know what I'm saying, kill, because, you know, they let Jake walk in the store, they smoke cigarettes, you know, you know, they smoking blunts and everything, just standing in line, like, why, why, why would you, you know, just tell them, hey, look, no smoking in the store, you know what I'm saying, you know, hey, can you please, I have other customers, I have other patrons, you know, whatever, whatever, they don't do any of that, and they don't care, you know what I'm saying, then I ask a guy, I'm like, well, you know, I'm like, well, shit, hey, I mean, if you, you know, is this the only store that you have? Because normally they'll have multiple stores. And I'm like, because I know if you was in a white neighborhood, you know, this store wouldn't be smelling like this. You know, smelling like ass, old cooch, you know. And so all of a sudden, because he's the only person that, you know, kicking it with him, you know, calmly. And then all of a sudden, I just see this head pop up with this other guy talking shit. I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> he, 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 he just out of the blue, you know, talking all kinds of shit. Oh, it's because, of, you know, in so many words, he was just like, you know, you niggers. It's you niggers. You, know, you got, you know, people coming in or smelling like shit. You know, he talking about Jake. You know what I'm saying? Because Jake is the only you in Jake neighborhood. There's no so-called white people walking off in that store. It's none of his people walking in that store. You know, it's no um, it's not even um, no, no so-called um, Northern Kingdom. I'm walking off in the store like that, man, because it's in Jake Hood. It's nothing but Judah in, in that neighborhood. And Judah is walking in and out. So he's talking all day. Yes, y'all. You, you know, you look at the ATM, look at the ATM receipts on the floor. And I'm like, hey, look, dude, that don't have anything to do with nothing, man. It, you know, you're talking about one patron or two patrons, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a whole totally different customer. Yeah, yeah you know. I only mop two times. What the fuck he say? He says I only mop two times a month. Like, man, I, bro, it's snowing and sleet and water and all kinds of stuff out here, bro. So they don't care about you coming in, possibly slipping and falling. The, the parking lots is like shit. I mean, but you know, that's everywhere that Jake um, reside, man. That's in every major city. I don't care what major city you go to. And Jake don't care. Jake really don't care. So, you know, I, you know, I, I, I cut into him. You know what I'm saying? You know, because of the way he was talking, I was like, man, you sounded like a bitch. Like, I don't talk to um, grown dudes, man, like they my woman or something like that. Like, I told him straight up, like, man, just shut the fuck up. You acting like a real bitch. Then, you know, he goes on his rant, you know, all this other stuff. But you know what I'm saying? And then he, um, you know, the guy actually grabbed a baseball bat and, and, and came out of the security door. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, you ain't about to do shit to me, bro. <laughs> you what you need to do, because there was some young Jakes in there. And the other guy from behind the counter, he's trying to get him to come back in there because they be shook anyway. Come back, come back, come back. So he's following me out to the parking lot. I'm like, hey, look, bro, you, hey, right one will shoot your ass because first off, you got a weapon in your hand and I will get off scots free because the police officers are going to ask you, well, why did you come from behind a bulletproof glass or secure area to, um, with a, with a, you know, with a, with a bat? Just emotional. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you're not about to do nothing. I said, hey, you bet what you better do is you better take your ass back in that store because Jake and them about to hit your motherfucking cash register. He's like, oh, and then he turns around and he runs back. Because there was like five or six young Jake in there. And they was, you know, because they was laughing at his ass. So he's like, man, yeah, you know, 
So I'm already knowing Jake and them, they already know how they get down. You know, we already know how they get down. They don't give a shit about Jake. They come to the neighborhood. I'm like, man, hey, it's your fault that you came and tried to um, get down on, on, on Jake. You made it your business to come into our neighborhood and set up a liquor store. You know, you made it your business. Why, why didn't you get a store? It's plenty of places that you could have got a store at. Y'all got the money. The so-called white man, he's allowing you to come in, um, into the country and, and see where I, where I live at. They get seven years tax-free. They don't have to pay no taxes for seven years. So everything they get, they just bank it. And they come to Jake Hood and they know how Jake get down. Jake going to spend money. So they come to the hood. And then once the seven years is up, these slick bastards will shut the store down for about five, six months. And then they'll sell it to one of their cousins. And then they'll get seven more years of free taxes, bro. This is how they get down, but this is how Esau set them up. So, you know, I just wanted to go off into the book of Psalms, chapter 83. I got a few minutes here, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, it's entitled, Yahweh implored to confound his enemies. Verse 1. A song or a psalm of a soft. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. And this is something that we're praying for, man, during this Passover. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. See the so-called white man, he comes through. You know what I'm saying? He didn't enslave Jake, and then he allowed uh, um, the other um, nations to lick the wound, so to speak. You know? He, he, he allowed all these other nations come in and set up shop. They don't have to pay no taxes, you know? So all these nations there in our neighborhood selling us fucked up bad chicken. They own the supermarkets. <laughs> they own a damn um, um, shrimp shack or fish shack. They own the gas stations. They own the banks. They own the mechanic shops. Beauty supply stores, you name it. Now, mind you, it's all Jake, hundred percent Jake. I can I can say at least ninety nine point nine percent Jake, and, and Jake don't own nothing, man, in these in these areas. But that lets you know that we are the children of Israel, and we're under those curses of Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight. So it all fits, man. It all goes together beautifully, like a puzzle, man. That's why you know I, you know. It's the spirit that's got to show you this or the spirit is dealing with you for you to get this because it makes common sense. And a lot of Jake, they get it when you explain it to them. Like, you know, if you, you know, you're giving them the milk of the scriptures, like, look, this is the reason why we're here. This is the reason why. And notice this or notice that, you know, these are the people that are in our neighborhoods that are, um, you know, that's that's totally against us. But yet they're banking, sending their kids to school off of your ass, sending them to college. They becoming lawyers, doctors off off the tax free money they're getting in our neighborhoods. Right. Okay, it says, For lo, thine enemy make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because it's not just in Jake neighborhood. It's not just Southern, um, Southern Kingdom. They do. They set up shop in Northern Kingdom neighborhoods, man. Which are you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Your biblical nationality is your Israelites from your respective tribe. Our forefather our forefathers abraham isaac jacob jacob had 12 sons his name was changed to israel or yasha Allah in the hebrew he is a prince of the power and we're princes of the power man we come from one of his 12 sons he had 12 sons and all of us come from one of those sons which are the 12 tribes of the children of israel right it says they have said come and let us cut them come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. That's the reason why they give you names like blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Cubans, Dominicans, Latinos, you know, Jamaicans, Honduras, you know, all these different names, man. All those names come from the oppressor. They keep you oppressed. They don't want you to know who you are. And they're constantly just, they're just basically, <laughs> you're still in slavery. I mean, overall, I mean, that's what it is. You're, you're still slaves. They just dress it up as if you're free. And you're not. OK. It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. These are and these are the people right here. All these nations are in our neighborhoods banking, man, all day long, every day. The Tabernacles of Edom, that the number one enemy of the Lord is the so-called white man. That's the biblical name for the so-called white man right here. Edom. They're Edomites. Esau. They come from Abraham, Isaac and Esau. We come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
Esau and Jacob were twins in, 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 in the womb of Rebekah, scuffling and fighting, you know. And, and the Lord said that um, these are two separate nations, two manner of people. So we're, we've always had a struggle. See, they're on top right now. And what's about to come to them is they're about to, you know, go into slavery in this kingdom. And in the new kingdom, they're going into slavery. In the same way that they're on top of us right now, we're going to be on their ass, boy. Ooh, they have no idea. And it's going to be a double up. The Lord says, give their asses double. And that's what's going to happen. And we're going to rule with an with a iron thumb, man. The iron rod. Because them little jakes that was in there, I said, you see how they, you see how they get down? I said, they don't have no respect for you, bro. They look at you as animals. They, they, they don't feel as if you should, you know, um, walk into a decent store with a decent smell in it. You know what I'm saying? They look at you as if you're just a damn animal. Come on in. Give me your money. They don't say hi. They don't say bye. They don't say, you know, they don't, give, they don't greet you. None of that shit, man. We get the worst of everything. And that's like I said, again, that's how you know that we are the children of Israel. And, and it's time, high time to awake out of sleep, according to Romans 13 and 11. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe Because the Lord is about to take these people down soon, man They're not going to continue to rule over the children of Israel, man Everything that they've done to the children of Israel They're going to have to pay for, right? Well, let's get these names again The Tabernacles of Edom, which is the so-called white man And the Ishmaelites That's basically who I was dealing with last night Which is, you know, like your so-called Arabs And, you know, um, they go by a few different names Of Moab the so-called Chinese man. Hey, that, that, I, I don't know who hates you the most out of out, out of um, the so-called white man or the so-called Chinese man. Because them motherfuckers, all them hate us, though. But that that China, hey, them fuckers got a real disdain for our people. A real nasty, you know what I'm saying? But we going to get their asses, too. And the Hagarines, the Hagarites, you know, the children of Hagar, Gabal, and Ammon, the so-called Japanese. We're going to get their asses, too, because they, they, them Asians, man, all of them, they look down on Jake real bad, right? And Amalek, those are Edomites, too. Those are the, you know, those small hats that's over there in the land uh, uh, fighting and fussing and shit about. Uh, they over there right now protesting to, to keep a bunch of wickedness going on. So how are they the people, right? The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyree, them damn Africans. Because, see, these so-called white people, they got all our people thinking that we're all Africans. Like, we just a whole goddamn continent of Africa when it's 54 countries in that place, right? But I just wanted to touch on this real quick. I'm going to go in here and handle my little business, man. Um, it says, Asur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. Say La. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that. Because, like I said, by the spirit, it was just like, you know, the Lord wanted me to go to that store. And I went there. And, and all that conspired. And then you got this emotional. I'm like, dude, man, you emotional as hell? Like, dude, you acting like a, a, a chick. I guess he got a little offended and stuff because Lil Jakes was in there laughing at his ass. I'm like, yeah, man, what's your fucking problem? You know? He get to try and name call. And I mean, I, I, I'm, man, I don't give a shit about none of that, man. I'm just here to do my business, man. I said, uh, you, I, I'm here doing business with you. You're not here. You're not doing business with me. You know why you, you know, trying to name call. I'm like, I'm here spending my money with you. You're not spending no money with me. You in my neighborhood, <laughs> you know, getting money off my people. Why don't you get and go, go, you know, getting money off your own people? Because they know that they can't sell their own people that bullshit. But anyway, enough with that. Like I said again, hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. You know, all the brothers is uh, about to pop up on live right now. Got the Asin the Apostle, I think Tahar, and um, that's the brother uh, Manata Zatba, uh, um, South Carolina. But anyway, you know, yeah, like I said again, hey, it, it, hey, it's coming, man. Just we just have to be patient, hold on, and pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, that we haven't, you know, that we endure. Because what that guy don't know is when when the so-called white man gets gets down on Jake and Jacob's trouble, he gonna run their asses off too. And, then, and see, that's when these people be wanting to link up with you. Because the so-called white man don't like them neither. So when the so-called white man get on their ass, then all of a sudden, we shall overcome. We Let's get with the Negroes. Let's march. Can y'all help us out? Same thing that the Asians done. 
when that COVID shit went down and, and all them damn Asians was getting their asses whooped, you know, all of a sudden, um, Asians and, 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 and blacks solidarity. Like, motherfuckers, you, we ain't ever been solid. We ain't never been together. Y'all ain't never like, but that's what all these groups, same with the LGBTQ. You should know what we're going through. We're being discriminated. And, 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 and Jake out here marching for all the bullshit. And then when these people get their rights, they leave your ass, in, you know, behind. You don't get no rights with them. They get their shit and they step off. Same things with um, Amalek. The damn Jews done that back in the days. Let's get together. Let's start the NAACP and all this marching shit. When they came up, what did they do? They got the fuck, they got the fuck away from Jake. Anyway, let me go ahead and handle my business real quick. Hey, I just wanted to touch on this. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashala. Hey, we hey, we on the ass, man. We gonna get them, man. The Lord gonna give us what he's gonna, he's gonna give us that lick back. We're gonna get that lick back. Shalom.